And now, reading your comments with Mr. Neo. If you can remember, what were you doing on 9/11? Well, I was in kindergarten, so I can't remember much. But considering it was on a Tuesday and I was in kindergarten, I was five years old. I think I was trying not to shit myself. Any living grandparents? I still have a grandpa who is alive. He got me really into karaoke and computers. And he's one of the few people in my life to inspire me to pursue a future in music or technology. Favorite cartoon on Cartoon Network? Um, when I was a kid, I was into the Maguzi block back when it existed. Later, it like fused into Toonami, so I still watched it. Um, I watched Pokemon Diamond and Pearl on the weekdays, Pokemon Battle Frontier on the weekends, and I would always catch whatever episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX they were airing at the time. And a few years ago, I got into the Total Drama series, up until Redonkulous Race. I don't believe they aired Redonkulous Race in America, but if they did, I haven't seen it. I should try and find the episodes sometime. Right now, I don't really watch Cartoon Network that often, but when I do, I'll probably watch Gumball, Adventure Time, regular shows, Steven Universe. My favorite block after the anime block ended was CN Real, surprisingly. I just believe it was on the wrong channel at the time. And had it been on another channel, it would have worked. I did like the shows, though. Not enough reaction videos. Well, if you ran a YouTube channel where you had to upload once a week, and you were trying to balance reaction videos, gaming videos, music videos, and convention prep, while trying to make sure your friends are available to shoot certain videos you can't do by yourself, then you wouldn't put out as many reaction videos either, now would ya? Or maybe you wouldn't put out as many good ones as I do. I'm not saying that I'm better than everyone. I'm saying that um, there are people out there that upload regularly and they do sh jobs. And there are people that upload not so regularly and they do good. It's like the angry video game nerd. You know, the angry video game nerd. Like, he doesn't upload as often as he used to. But that's a good thing because, like... Would you rather see a crap ton of episodes in a week or in a month than have them all be utter shit? Or would you rather wait patiently for one episode and it will be one of the greatest things you've ever seen in your life? Take that to school with you and sleep on it. Also, don't forget that my family comes first. I live with my parents and whatever they say goes. If they need my attention, I'm going to give it to them. Not to mention, this phone back here constantly rings when one of my friends calls me and I'm always talking to them because they always want someone to talk to, especially when they're pissed off. I don't have money to support you on Patreon or buy things for you on Amazon. How else can I support you? That's easy. If you can't afford to buy me things or donate to me, there's lots of ways you can support me. You can click like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you can, uh, what else can you do? You can share the videos on Twitter, Facebook, all your favorite social medias, or just show them to your friends. And um, more often than not, I turn on the feature to add subtitles to my videos. And if you can put up with sitting through my videos long enough to figure out what I'm saying and transcribe it, you can add subtitles. Or if English subtitles have already been added and you know another language, you can add subtitles for that language because I can't afford professional translators so at least thank you for very much for considering supporting me if you are who is your pick for best pony I can't answer that in general like when I think of my favorites I think of like dividing them in like categories like best princess best member of the main six best background character so if you were to now down that way I would probably have an answer but I just can't pick a best pony in general why do you upload in 720p two reasons actually number one the webcam that I use in my laptop only goes to 720p and it's very crap 720p at that you call this 720p you stupid the other reason is that 
Um, my computer is a laptop that only has a 1.9 gigahertz dual core processor and an integrated GPU. So, can't really handle 1080p if I could. And even if I could, like, it would take very long and take up a lot of hard drive space. I figure since my webcam's in 720p anyway, might as well make all my videos 720p. I noticed you and other members of the YouTube reaction community were once trolled by <laughs> any comment. Um, I'm, I had this one experience with a YouTuber by that name. Um, he uploaded a video on YouTube threatening the original Improbables channel and my channel, calling us and asking us to take down our videos, and by asking us, I mean demanding we take down our videos, or else, back or something. At one point, I actually like left a comment on his video. I didn't agree with him. I didn't disagree with him. I just asked what his problem was with our videos. Put simply, he said his problem with our videos was that he was disabled and doesn't have as much mobility as everyone else. And he thinks we're offensive because we can move. Like, we can walk, we can jump, we can move. And that offends him. Well, if he's out there and he's listening, I got news for you, buddy. Just don't watch the videos. Don't go spamming me and the original channel and all my new friends like a, like a pussy. Because that's what you are when you behave like that. You're acting like a pussy. Why you no do Yu-Gi-Oh videos? Because not everyone's into Yu-Gi-Oh like I am or other people are. Um, and I can't guarantee that everyone in my audience likes Yu-Gi-Oh. So if I keep on doing Yu-Gi-Oh videos, people look at me and be like, Oh, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Doesn't seem like something I'd be interested in. But, um... I am trying to work Yu-Gi-Oh! into the circulation as much as I'm working Brony stuff into the circulation so I have a way to reach out to everyone and I can assure you once I finally get that composite or component capture card from my um, from my Amazon wish list, I will have plenty of videos on this. Count on it. Can you show us your pony plushies please? In this bag I have my big ones. Pretty sure a lot of people will know who this one is. This is the. If I can get the main right. I think this is Lyra. Yeah, Lyra. Vinyl. And Tabby. I like wubs. I like strings. Let's be together. Okay. <laughs> And here's my best pony of main six, Rainbow Dash. I mean, of course I had to get the bigger one. Like, I used to have a smaller one that I ordered from the internet, but then I bought this big one at the store because the big ones are just 20% cooler. Show the wings. Fly to the castle. And other than those big ones, I have this uh, Thai one. Oh, sorry. I have this Thai one here for the Princess Luna. She's my favorite princess. I would have gotten the Celestia one, but at the time I was in full blown money saving for convention mode, and I still kind of am. So for now, this will be the only princess you'll see in my room. Favorite Tekken games? These ones. Why are you doing two reading your comments episodes in a row? Will all episodes be this frequent? When I started doing reading your comments, everyone got really excited. I got more real comments as opposed to the fake comments I kept putting in. I'm still putting in fake comments to fill this video, but it's nice to know that the excitement is still there. And no, future episodes will not be this frequent. I'll try and limit them to like once or twice in a given month. That way I have time for the comments to pile up and more people will have more things to ask me in any given amount of time instead of having to rush people and having to put a video out once a week just so people can comment a bunch of things and hope they get featured how tall are you about this tall why can't we hear background noise when you record 
That's a good thing about like certain brands of mics is that they have like certain features. Like this $30 PDP rock band mic I'm using to record actually has noise reduction. So like if I have the fan blowing in the background and I'm like talking into the mic, you can't hear it because like I'm talking into the mic and it's meant for canceling out background noise. That way, if I were to get a better mic, it would probably sound slightly better, but, like, if I ever get a new place, or if I get, like, some noise canceling on the walls, then that would help a whole lot better. Is your mic stand broken? Yes, it is very broken. A lot of people don't notice, but this mic stand, it wobbles. It's not supposed to do that. Like, mic stands are supposed to, like, stand straight up and stay sturdy, but mine wobbles. That's because I got a little crazy with this mic stand when I was playing Rock Band. I was doing some like stunts and stuff like picking it up and swinging it around, carrying it all over the place and it started leaning. Like, there are two reasons why I haven't replaced this. One, I can't afford a new mic stand. And two, I like the dynamic thing that this does now. It's like now I can like move around and and appeal more to an audience or a crowd with my vocal performances without having to pick up the mic stand and swing it around. Because at this rate, if I were to pick it up and swing it around a few too many more times, the bottom would fall off and crush my feet. And that about does it for this reading comments video. I'm sorry it's shorter than the other one, but um, I had to record this in multiple spastic bursts because I only had like four real comments this time and I still had to come up with fake ones but it was harder to come up with fake ones this time than I did last time. That's why I plan on making these reading comments videos less frequent so that I have more time to get more comments to answer. So like continue to leave comments on all my videos if you really want to say things about them. If you want your comment to be featured in a video add hashtag neo comments if you don't add that hashtag i might still add you but chances are i might reply to you in text like normal hashtag neo comments just tells me don't reply to me in text i want this in a video or if you're on twitter and you follow me at ghrocketron3000 you can tweet at me with hashtag neo comments as well and i can answer those so thank you for watching this is the end screen you can donate to me on patreon subscribe to me on youtube check out my playlists and other videos my Amazon smile link is in the description if you want to buy me gifts if you like this video click like and leave a comment if you didn't like this video click like and leave a comment I'll see you all in the next video peace